my camera is doing this weird thing where it keeps breaking. Hello everybody. So as you may notice, I am in a bit of a different place. So I have actually moved. I have moved house. I have literally moved into a house too. Um, I've always lived in a flat and now I live in a house, which is pretty exciting. Um, so yeah, I'm just in a completely empty house right now, except for someone in the background. I'm really into moving vlogs, so I thought this would be an interesting thing to document, and then I can look back on it in months or years time and see how stressed I probably was. There's a lot that needs doing to this place, so I'm going to be vlogging that, and you can just pretty much come along and see me move, see me decorate, buy furniture, all those exciting things. By the way, I'm wearing a scarf indoors because it's absolutely freezing, I've only just figured out how to turn heating on. Um, so yeah, I'm a bit chilly, so this will be staying on. But I thought I would do a little tour of just the empty space at the moment. So there's no furniture in here, apart from a few odd bits that we've brought already. So I'm gonna quickly whiz you around and I think show you all the rooms. I won't go into too much detail, I'm not gonna do a proper um, house tour once everything is in, but I thought I would just show you the empty space and what I have to work with. So as you walk in, this is the hallway, obviously, and then the lounge is kind of open plan, which is quite nice because it's really bright in here. Probably doesn't look like that right now because it's a super gloomy day, but it is really nice and light. And then I have this beautiful fireplace. I am obsessed with this. I think this is what sold this house to me because, oh, just look at it. It's gorgeous. I've actually bought the house a little present already um, from the White Company. I think I'm going to open this now, actually, because it's been sitting here for a while. Don't you just love the White Company packaging? It's so beautiful. So I got a candle and a little candle tray for it to sit on. Um, this is the fir and berry scent, and it's so, so lovely. It's super Christmassy. I quite like this little candle stand. I don't usually put them on anything, but it's quite sweet. Um, so this is going to hopefully fill my house with the smell of candle, because already it's not even lit and I can smell it. And then down the hallway we have this room which I guess is gonna be a dining room. At the moment it's a bit of a junk room, it's just got decorating things and shopping and paint in here at the moment. Um, but I think this is gonna be a dining room. So I might put a table and chairs here. This room is so bright and lovely. I think it's gonna be so nice to come and sit here in the morning and have some breakfast. And I think me and Susie are gonna do some baking videos here as well because we may have something very exciting coming up in December, but you'll have to wait for that. This is actually my favorite thing that I've bought already, um, minus the carver sitting in there. It's this little honeycomb wine rack from Habitat. I never drink wine, I just thought it was really pretty, so that's my first little house accessory. Okay, let's go upstairs. There are actually stairs here. Yay! So this room is going to be the bedroom, I think. Um, it's a bit of an empty blank room. We do have a wardrobe though. I've never had a built-in wardrobe, so this really excites me. It's quite big actually. It doesn't look very big on camera, but it's the cupboard under the stairs, very Harry Potter. And there's another fireplace in here, which I love, although it does make some pretty creepy noises, which is probably gonna terrify me in the middle of the night. Um, so then across the hall is the bathroom. I'm not super crazy about this massive window in the bathroom, which isn't frosted or anything, so anybody can see me getting undressed and getting in the shower. Actually, I think this is my favorite thing about the whole house. I have a bath, I've always wanted a bath. I have a bath, but it's a bath over the shower, so this is gonna be used so much. I never take baths because I hate having a bath when you have to have a bath that there's a shower over. I just don't particularly like it, and um, I know baths aren't particularly good for the environment, so I will use my water sparingly, but oh, I am so looking forward to sitting in there. See what I mean about things to do. There's this random wire sticking out of the wall right above the sink, so. I need to do something with that. I don't think any of these fireplaces work, but we have an abundance of them. Um, and then the shower. The shower looks like it's gonna be super good in the morning. So that is the main house. And then we have this secret little cave here. It just looks like an airing cupboard, but it's not. So this is gonna be, I covered the HQ as we go up the stairs. Too many stairs in this house. So this is my office. This is gonna be, where I work, where I vlog, where I film videos, where I pretty much do everything relating to I Covered Thee. I love this room, it's actually the loft room or the attic room, so it's a bit of a weird shape, but I kind of like that. I like this weird little triangle thing. I think I'm gonna put my desk there, and my computer, and then maybe some photos. This is pretty much the only thing that I've put up and done myself so far. This is a little copper lampshade. I need to get a new bulb, actually, because that one's not very pretty, but I love this. It's from Asda. It was 20 pounds, pretty amazing. 
so that is my house. That is where I'm going to be living for the next however many years, I guess. Um, I'm really excited about it. We're still in our flat at the moment, so we've got a couple of weeks to move in here and get everything sorted. We've definitely got to paint the walls because you can't really tell it here. It looks okay, but these are actually grey and I want them to be white because I'm a bit of a freak like that. Everything needs to be white and beautiful and shiny. Bloggers out there will know that white walls always help. I've definitely been a little bit slack and lax on the kind of blogging front and even YouTube actually. I haven't been doing as many uploads and as regularly as I would have liked and I feel as if I'm just in, or I was in a bit of a weird headspace with creativity. I wasn't feeling particularly creative. I couldn't think of any new ideas and I didn't really know what direction I wanted to go in. I still don't really know what direction I want to take my blog in. I feel like moving is gonna really just invigorate everything and having this amazing space to work from is just gonna change so many things. So I'm really excited about it. I'm excited to start things anew and we should be in here for December so hopefully Christmassy things and vlogmas and all sorts are going to be happening in this house which I can't wait for. It's getting a bit warmer in here now um, this scarf is suffocating me so we've got some things to unpack. Like I said we're not moving properly for another couple of weeks so furniture is still at the flat but we have some things to do and today is going to be all about painting so we're going to attempt to paint the walls. It's pretty dark so I don't know if we're going to be able to see what we're doing. Oh god this kitchen is such a mess. Ugh, I need to tidy it up. Um, so before all the painting extravaganza begins, I think we're going to get some lunch because there is zero food in this house. We don't even have a fridge yet. So yeah, we're going to go get something to eat and I think we're going to do some errands. I have some stuff from Topshop to return. We also went to Ikea yesterday and um, had a look at some furniture and things and I did buy a couple of bits. So I think I will show you those when I get back. It's just a few kind of homeware things, little bits and bobs, basically things I didn't really need to buy. Pretty much everything inside this bag. Oh, I went to HomeSense as well. I've never been to HomeSense before. It was great. I might save them actually for a proper homeware haul because um, you guys always ask me for homeware hauls even though I don't really buy stuff I guess you kind of see things in the background videos and you're interested in them so I might save a few bits for the homeware haul and I might just show you some glasses and plates and things that I've been <laughs> to Starbucks purely because the red cups are out and I'm a basic bitch and I wanted a red cup and we've got some oh shit <gasps> no Oh my god! Oh my god! I can't believe I actually caught that on camera. Whoops. Shouldn't have been vlogging. Should have been paying attention. We've made ourselves a picnic on the floor because we have no furniture. Um, so we've got some pasties. These are the best pasties ever. I think that one's yours. So this is our lunch in preparation for lots of DIY and painting, which I'm not particularly looking forward to, but this I'm looking forward to. This is great. painting clothes on, basically an old pyjama top and the most ripped jeans that I own. These are definitely decorating jeans because there's no way I'm wearing these outside. Let me show you some of the bits that I got in Ikea yesterday. There's nothing particularly exciting here. It's just kind of basic homeware stuff and Christmas decorations. These three little plastic, I guess they're kind of like Tupperware things, but they're basically little plastic baskets. Um, and I'm going to put those in my kitchen cupboards and put things like ingredients in there, like flour and little things that get lost in the cupboard. So I thought they'd be a good storage thing. I've got some Christmas decorations just because I thought those were really pretty. They're kind of like cardboard, um, but there's a silver one and a copper one. So I thought they were really nice. And then some wrapping paper um, because it was really, really cheap. And you always need wrapping paper, not long till Christmas. I got loads and loads of Kilmer jars. Well, they're not real Kilner jars, they're the Ikea versions, but these are about a pound each, so they're so good. Um, and again, I just want to put like ingredients and things in there, so I got quite a few of these. I got two large ones, two medium ones and two small ones. I think I'm going to put flour and pasta in these ones, and then maybe like rice and things. This, this is not interesting. <laughs> um, I got a colander, because I don't have a colander. Um, some more Christmas decorations and then some cleaning stuff because I think I need to give the bathroom a bit of a clean. So that is my little Ikea haul. There's a few other bits as well that I got here and here that I will probably put into a haul video. There's quite a few things that I'm waiting on as well to come that I've bought online and other things that I need to pick up. So I give it a few weeks until that haul probably will be up, um, but it will definitely be coming because I've just got loads of home stuff to talk about. And I think you guys will be interested in that. I hope so. Let me know if you do want to see that video. Okay, we've masking taped up and we also have plastic all over the floor. That actually took way longer than I thought it would.
I'm already covered in paint as well, so I think I can say goodbye to these jeans once I'm finished with them. We've also been watching The Office, literally on a tiny screen of my phone because that's all we have at the moment. And I've realised that I can listen to The Office now and I know exactly what's about to happen and what's happening on screen without even watching it. So I'm just going to show you how much of my life I have wasted watching that programme. I've also put in the first Christmas decoration. I had to bring something Christmassy. This is the bigger thing that I got in Ikea. And I think it's so cute. It's copper, it's got stars, super Christmassy. I love it. Many, many hours later, and we have a completely white room. Oh, doesn't want to focus, but I promise you this room is white. I am mentally, physically, all kinds of exhausted, so I need to go home, shower, get this paint off of my face and body and out of my hair, um, because tonight we're going to see some fireworks, because it, is it the fifth? No, it's not the fifth, but there's some fireworks on tonight, so we're gonna go and see those. I just need to go and wash myself first. <laughs> Ending donut cube. What did you get? Donut. 